Every year we pay $99 to use Every Dollar Plus, so is it worth it? Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have been using Every Dollar Plus for about two years now, and I pretty much consider us power users. So today I am going to be specifically diving in and talking about Every Dollar Plus and explaining whether I think it's worth the $99 a year to use it, or whether I think that Every Dollar, the free version, is sufficient. In the past, I've done tutorials and reviews. I've even shown you how to make every dollar fit your lifestyle. I am an advocate of every dollar. I really love it. And I'll link a playlist up here, you know, I thingy. If you want to watch some of my other videos, I really try and cover it in depth. So what's the difference between every dollar and every dollar plus? Essentially, the only difference is that in every dollar plus, you can link your bank accounts directly to every dollar. So it automatically imports transactions every day. So let's go over the pros of every dollar plus. The first one is probably the most important and that is reconciling your budget is so much faster. We all know that reconciling is the key to staying on your budget. If you're not reconciling, you probably don't even know you're staying on your budget. And I'll tell you, reconciling for us made the difference in paying off a couple thousand dollars versus six or seven thousand dollars a month on our debt because we were aware of where every single cent went. And by having every dollar plus auto import those transactions from the debit card and the bank accounts and all the payments that have been made, we actually reconcile. Whereas before every dollar plus, we didn't. So the second pro about every dollar plus is that if there is ever a company that you could trust having access to your bank accounts, it'd be Dave Ramsey's. The man is beyond honest. I 100% trust the security of his company. Pro number three is that it is designed 100% for people following Dave Ramsey's program. It is specifically designed for the debt snowball and getting out of debt. And other programs like it aren't really necessarily designed to pay off debt quickly. Pro number four, there is always a 30 day free trial. All you have to do is install the software into your phone or your computer or both as in my case and set it up and there is a free trial right in the settings that allows you to try every dollar for 30 days. And if you don't like it, you just cancel it. They're honest, they'll actually cancel it. And pro number five is that you can link numerous bank accounts. I think we have like seven linked to ours. It's easy to tell which accounts are coming in, which transactions are from which accounts. There's really no confusion. So now for the cons. Con number one, it was kind of a pain to get set up initially. A big pain. It took about a week. Now mind you, this was two years ago and the software was fairly new. So they probably have overcome some of those issues now, but some of the downsides associated with that is they don't have 24 hour assistance. They do work a normal nine to five schedule. And so if you're trying to set it up at night, you don't have instantaneous help. And they also don't work on weekends. I recommend if you're going to set it up and connect it to your bank accounts, you do it on a Monday, so you can do it during the week. Try starting at like nine o'clock in the morning on Monday morning. <laughs> Con number two, if you have accounts associated with the same bank and they're both hooked up and you move money between the two accounts, it shows up as a duplicate transaction. Not a major con, but it was unnerving at first to see the money moving twice and I didn't know which one I was supposed to be using to track. I eventually figured it out though. Con number three, every once in a while, I'd say like once every three or four months, it gets a little wonky and it double uploads all the transactions, which is kind of a pain because then you have to go in and figure out which ones are already uploaded and delete the other ones and it's annoying but it's workable con number four it only uploads once a day now if you're like me my bank only uploads once a day so stuff sits in the pending and then at i think one o'clock every day it uploads the new stuff so it's not such a big deal for me but if your bank is one that works on a 24 hour constant active processing then this could be annoying to you it's not really a problem for me though con number five Every once in a while, it will misname a transaction or it takes the first, you know, so many letters off of the transaction code and I have no idea what it is. So I have to actually open up my bank account to figure it out. 
not such a big deal. I'm not so lazy. And con number six is there are actually apps that do this for free, but they're full of ads and you know, all of that. So you get what you pay for basically. So a couple of things that I wish every dollar plus did, I wish it would link my bank accounts to a live debt snowball tracker. Right now, the way I have it set up is I frequently create my next month's budget before I've actually paid this month's budget. So I have to go in and edit my snowball every month, but it'd be really nice if I could just set up the bank accounts to track my snowball for me. It'd be pretty awesome actually. And in that same vein, I would love it if it would just have a accurate snowball tracker. For right now, you know, one that I can plug stuff in and put in a hypothetical solution and CEF debt-free date, that would be so awesome and so motivating. For now, I use Undebted and that works for me, but it'd be nice if it was all built into one place. So the question you've all been waiting for, would I recommend every dollar plus? I would, but I would recommend using the free version for three months to really understand how it works before you upgrade to every dollar plus. If you're committed from the very beginning, this is the software I'm gonna use and this is what I'm gonna do like we were, then go ahead and get it from the very beginning. But if you're questioning it, really understand the software before you upgrade and try out your 30 day free trial. So you'll see if it works for you. And if you are interested in using every dollar, I will put a link down in the description box for you. It is not sponsored. I am a huge fan and I enjoy talking about it. So to activate your free 30 day trial of every dollar plus, you just go to your settings tab. Do you like credit cards? No, they because they I was about to say what you were saying. Um, because they um spend a lot of money. Um, that we don't need to spend, right? Yeah, and um, if your kids have a um pretend wallet with um a pretend credit card, make sure it is not real. And if they that's six year old wisdom for you. Hello. Hey, your braid fell down. I know, I lick it, lick it right now. That's a bobby pin. We had our braid wrapped around. My bun. Yeah, but not anymore. It yeah. was like this. It looks super cute. She has a little hair extension in there. Which it, Mama said it was a mermaid extension. Yeah, that's a mermaid extension. Here's okay. Rapunzel. It's a Lego. Um, There can go flowers on the top of her head. The, um, here and here, and she has her frying pan to knock you in the head. Oh. And when I come to see, smack that like button down below. Three, two, one. I love you. I love you too. You're my favorite little girl. Oh, oh your hair is tickling my nose. So Mauricio got me a brand new tripod for my birthday, which is amazing by the way. And I had it all set up perfect for my height and I started to film and I decided to check it. And I went and I had chopped off like from this part of my head up and I couldn't figure out why. And then it occurred to me, I had heels on. I'm blonde. It's a thing. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Yeah.